Hi, I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness. Today's workout is gonna be a full body kettlebell workout. I am working with a 10 pound kettlebell. You will find out really quickly that I do extremely high reps. It's not just eight to 10 reps, when we could do up to 20 to 30 reps. So remember to stretch a little bit before and after all of my videos, and here we go. You're gonna start standing wide. Flip your kettlebell upside down so the bottom of it is facing up towards your ceiling, and you're gonna go straight up for 20. Breathing out on the up. Not arching your back, there's 10. One more. Okay, now we're gonna do 15 squats. You're gonna be, same thing with the kettlebell, but you're gonna go, going up on the up of the squat, up on the kettlebell of the squat. Okay, ready and go. Five more. And 15, you're gonna keep it flipped like just like it is. High knees for 20, alternating knees up, triceps, triceps up with your, your arms are gonna be in tricep. You're gonna feel it in your triceps and your elbows are gonna be tight by your ears. A little bit of balance work here. There's 10. Five more. Okay, now wide legs. We're gonna do some swings with our kettlebell. Remember on this to um, pop your chest or pop your hips out, squeeze your glutes. Core is engaged. I opened up my legs a little wider to work on my inner thighs. It's always good to switch it up. 20 more outs, one. There's 10. So right now, full body workout, full body exercise. Three more. Now you're gonna go straight up. Core is very engaged to protect your spine. Beautiful day, sun is shining through, 10 more. Squeeze those inner thighs. Two more. Now you're gonna stay up, you're gonna drop left hand you're gonna go together at the top and then drop right. Okay, from here we're gonna do 20 ups. So it's one, so you're gonna alternate, then two for 20. Focus on your breath.
There's 10, 10 more. I haven't swung a kettlebell in quite a while. Feels great. Six more. Now stay on right arm. You're gonna have a slight bend in your right elbow. What you wanna not do is drop the kettlebell. So the bottom of the kettlebell should be facing right at you. And I always like to just have my, like right now it's my left arm obviously is out. It just keeps me centered with my balance. I feel more balanced than just having my arm hang there. Okay, six more, one. Switch. Ten more. Breathe. Four more. Now you're going to switch to right. This, your shoulder's gonna come back, or elbow's gonna come back. So the bottom of the kettlebell, once again, if it's too heavy, it's gonna do this. You wanna keep the bottom of the kettlebell facing out. So if you don't have the next size kettlebell, then grab, like, you can do this with a dumbbell. Six more. Switch. Also, the way that I teach kettlebells, you get some cardio too, because it's continuous, which I love. Six more, breathe. Last one. Flip it upside down, we're gonna focus on triceps. So I'm still thrusting my hips. I'm not arching my spine, squeezing my glutes. Eight more. This is one. One more. Now your feet are gonna be together. It's great for tight hips. Okay, left arm out if you choose to. Don't bang your knees, you're just going straight out with popping the hips out. deep as you feel comfortable, but just don't put it into your knees. You want your weight back in the heels of your shoes. Six more, one. And switch. Six more, stay with it. Here, stay with your feet together here. It's a momentum, momentum, then bicep curl, then straight up. So you do not come up until you do your bicep curl. 
So it's biceps, legs, front of the shoulder. You can feel it on my tricep as I lift my kettlebell up. Core is tight also. Six more. Try not to let the kettlebell, it's also wrist work. If you're too heavy with your kettlebell, I don't want you to hit yourself on the side of the head. I have done it before and it doesn't feel good. Nice control. All right, six more, let's do, stay together here. Breathe through it, one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, kettlebell on the right hand. Do a squat, wide, wide legs, toes angled out. Squat with a one arm shoulder press for 12. Don't drop your chest. on your breath. It's halfway. Six more. Last one right here. You're going to switch arms. Same thing for 12. on those inner thighs too. Full body, full body workout here. Two more. Love it. Now keep your toes angling just like this. Now it's gonna work more the front of the shoulder and side of the shoulder. Left arm arch, so you're gonna come down, bent elbow, little pause for 12. It's interesting, the left arm's tired just by holding it out. Two more. And 12, switch sides. Also, when you come up, don't tighten up your knees completely. Leave a slight bend in both of your knees. Shake out your legs a second. So butt kick. A butt kick is trying to get your heels to hit your bum. I can't quite get them there, but pretty close. So what you're gonna do is stay, stand wide. Okay, so you're gonna butt kick, right leg, right heel to right glute first, and you're gonna raise your kettlebell at an angle. So it's not gonna be up, it's not gonna be out. It's gonna be somewhere in between like here. Okay, so alternating butt kicks for 20 lifts up with your kettlebell. So when you butt kick, your kettlebell is gonna raise up. Okay, ready and go. Control. Control. 
18 and 20. Oh. Okay, hip width apart. Now, just gonna do a momentum bicep curl. Let me show you one first with three. Let me just show you. So it's a bicep curl. You're gonna come up. Now this is great front of the shoulder and worse, wrist work. We're gonna go up for two. So come back with a little bit of bent knees. Up, and it's one, two. Okay, we're gonna do eight rounds here and eight rounds over on the other side. All right, ready and go. Not alternate your stand one side. That's one. Two. Three. Four, halfway. Come on, we can do hard workouts. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Nice, switch sides. One. Two. Three. You will have a side of your body that is stronger than the other. It's normal. Six. Seven. And this is it. Eight. Okay, kettlebell goes in your right hand. Stand a little bit wider. Toes and knees are gonna hang, um, hang face you. <laughs> hang you. They're gonna hang you, they're gonna face you. Slight bend here. I'm actually gonna show you a modification because what this is gonna do is gonna stretch your obliques and tone and sculpt your obliques. So if it's too much to have your arm down here, you're gonna, you're gonna go over to the left side. This is a great modification. Keeping the chest open so you're not gonna be like this. It's here, okay? So we're gonna go little, little isometrics. Once again, isometrics are tiny and we're gonna do slow for 15. Also, relax your neck. And if you want to have a slight bend in your knees, go for it. If you want to tighten your legs up a little more to get a stretch in, on the back of your legs, go for it. It's a great stretch. Okay, one, two, three, four, tight tummy, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and fifteen. Switch side once again. If you have to modify, go for it. All right, other side. One, two, chest open, core tight. Three, four. Six, neutral neck. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. And fifteen. Okay, a balance move with a lunge. So it's gonna be a shoulder press. Start with kettlebell in your right hand. Right leg's gonna go back, left leg's gonna be forward. Find a focal point. Anytime you do balance work, as a reminder, tighten core, slow up the exercise, and look at something, okay? So I'm actually looking at this beautiful uh, tree that's changing colors right now, it's gorgeous, okay. So leg is gonna go out as the kettlebell comes up. Let me show you one first. Lunge, nice control. Lift, now look at, you're not gonna put that foot back down. You're not gonna put it here and then you're gonna flow. It's gonna be a flow, 10 on each side. All right, stay with it, don't rush it. Right leg back, ready and go. 
control. Pausing on the leg out and arm up. Not dropping my chest. Two more. And 10. Okay, now other side. Kettlebell's gonna go in your left hand, left foot back, find a focal point. Ready and go. Once again, you'll have a side of your body that is more confident, comfortable, stronger. It's normal. Froggy squats. If you don't want to hold on to your kettlebell, you don't have to, but I always like the way that it feels. So you're going to put your elbows on top of your knee, um, not kneecap, but a little bit, actually it's like your lower, lower part of your quad. And you're going to just hold your kettlebell, weight is back in your heel. This is also a flexibility move. So isometric, you can go as deep in your squat as you want to. Whatever you do, when you come up, make the movement tiny. Okay, stay with me and do 40 of these. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, weight is back in my heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Isolate my entire quad. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty. Okay, you go down on your mat. We're gonna do some push-ups using the kettlebell. Our hand's gonna slide in between the kettlebell. I'm gonna actually do mine on knees. Um, you can go into plank and do your push-ups, it's your call. Have your kettlebell very, you're gonna have the kettlebell off of the mat if you have a wider mat. This is a pretty skinny mat. My other hand, a couple fingers are gonna be off of my mat, okay? And I'm gonna actually go very wide elbows for 12 deep push-ups, touching my nose to the mat. Okay, ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Stretch back. What's great about that is it hits you way up here. For all you girls who have asked me over my years of being a fitness trainer, Amy, what can I do to strip to tighten this up? That this is the exercise right here. One of many exercises, but this is definitely hits you there. Okay, same thing. Other side, I've got two fingertips off of my mat. I'm gonna be very wide with my elbows for 10. Go as deep as you can. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 
10. Okay, you're gonna roll on your back. We're gonna finish with some abs, some core work. Okay, and so we're gonna work some chest here. So you're gonna do, put your kettlebell in your right hand. You're gonna ball up your knees and you're gonna go out with both legs for like a leg out, kettlebell up for um, 15. Push your right hand down into the mat. And also you wanna make sure your spine is pushed into the mat. Okay, one. Slow. Two, you can go out as low with your legs as you want to. Three. Listen to your body. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. side. Now right hand's going to be facing or pushing down into your mat. All right, ready? 15 more and go. One. and 15. Okay, right hand kettlebell, left hand behind your head. You're gonna crunch up, isolating, keeping a slight bend in your right arm, okay? We're gonna crunch up for 20 on each side. So, here we go. Ready, one, isometrics, two, three, four. Love having resistance on my abs, five, six, Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Other side, left hand in the kettlebell, on the kettlebell, right hand behind your head. Twenty more crunches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Okay, one more move. Leg lifts, kettlebells above your head, straight arms, straight legs. 415, so it's one. If you need to touch your heels to the mat, if you want to, I should say, go for it. Listen to your back. You don't have to go as low with me, low as I am with my legs. Engage in the core. on your breath.
Last one. Oh, legs down. So not no, there weren't any breaks in that. It's a great full body. So look at, we had balance, strength, range of motion, cardio, core, love it. Anyway, remember the light starts within. If you're shining within, you will make a difference in our world and have a wonderful self-care day. And if you have not clicked on the little bell, please do so because you will get notified when I post. Um, fresh current videos. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.